everybody. Um, Saturday morning. Sorry, my shoes just slipped. Wearing um, new sandals. Um, yeah, yesterday, all week, it's been one of those weeks, you know. And um, I've got loads now. This coming week, and the following week, and the following week of appointments. Um, we learnt that um, the nursing home told us that it's the continuing healthcare people who assessed Alfie and took the one-to-one -one off um, and dropped it and dropped it and dropped it. It's now 10 hours. Um, and they're trying to get it put back on. We've had communication, or my son has yesterday, communication to say that um, it's the nursing home who are saying to them, continuing healthcare, that 24-hour one-to-one isn't necessary. So somebody's lying somewhere. We know it's necessary. The staff... Sorry, I... Somebody's putting onto my drive again, not expecting anybody yet. Anyway, we know that the care is necessary. The carers themselves have said that 24-7 care is necessary. Continuing a health care are blaming the home, the home are blaming continuing health care. So, the local member of parliament is now involved. Safeguarding are already involved. Um, the police are involved about another incident. Data protection, one thing after another. And now on Thursday, um, there's a meeting between ourselves um, as Alfie's next of kin and advocates. Um, ourselves, the nursing home and the continuing healthcare people to get it all thrashed out. Somebody's lying and where somebody's life is concerned, it's not acceptable. I am sorry, I don't know what to be doing out there. Anyway, so there's that, there's a meeting on Thursday. Monday, I have a meeting myself, um, going with my brother, and then um, straight across town to see Alfie. Um, the meeting on Thursday, Saturday, I've got an appointment at another hospital at the pain clinic about um, my bones, etc. They've obviously had the result of the bone density scan. Um, so I'm going to see them to see if I can get this pain sorted out, which isn't anything like it was, I have to admit. Nothing like it. I can stand up, I can turn around, I can walk. Not very far, but I can, um, which is a lot better than crawling up the stairs like a cat, which I was. So, yeah, the meeting at Nursing Home Thursday, Saturday the hospital for me. Following week, in court, all week. Um, not sure whether it, I'm going to be needed there every day, but certainly I'll be needed there a couple of days at least, and i um, got to try and sort out somebody going to see Alfie, which I'm sure my daughter will pick up for that week. Following week, court again, the beginning of the week, and then hopefully I will be able just to flop and relax a little. I certainly hope so. So that, that's my few weeks coming up. Hence, I haven't had time to make any in-depth videos. Um, and I apologise for that. Somebody asked me what I thought about um, Amy on the go, the um, lady, Muslim lady who's got three children, her husband's business is going down the chute. I 
can't really comment very much because it isn't a channel I follow. I have looked. I think it's a bit strange that all of a sudden they're having to up sticks and move across states, she's saying, because they've got no money to pay this month's rent, blah, blah, blah. And they've collected over a thousand dollars from kind-hearted subscribers. Also, more money going into their PayPal. Going to have an Amazon wish list or a GoFundMe, I don't know. I just think having had three children ourselves and struggled in the early years, believe me, struggled. We always made sure the rent was paid, that the kids were looked after. I never went for nails to be done, I still don't, um, or any of the rest of it. So um, I find it a bit odd that a couple of weeks ago there was a hundred dollar challenge whereby Amy's husband um, bet her $100. She couldn't do this trick with the two glasses and a $100 bill. And she did it. Got the $100, thank you very much. Going to get my nails done. It's only a couple of weeks ago. So what's happened between then and now, I don't really know. Um, I would imagine if he's got um, a used car business, he's got cars to sell. So off the top of my head, I'd be thinking, stay where we are, keep the kids in school. Um, if the car business isn't working, sell the cars I've got, turn my hand to something else. Or Amy going out to work also. I know she does a little job on YouTube with her beakers and things. And I think Ali's been concentrating on looking after their children. Um, maybe that's why um, he couldn't put 100% into his business. I don't know. I'm not judging. These are thoughts off the top of my head. Um, I will go and have a look at the videos. But just for me, I'd be wanting to keep my kids there, keep my home there, keep my kids in school, come to some agreement with the landlord if I can't afford this month's rent, that um, I'll definitely pay next month's and pay this last bit, what we owe, gradually over the next few months. Um, I'd be looking to the mosque as a Muslim for help. I'd be looking to, um, is it St Vincent de Paul um, and other charities to get assistance? And I'm sure it would be there for the children. I hope it would be. Um, I certainly wouldn't be up in and sticks and moving um, at the drop of a hat. I wouldn't, not with three children. Um, those are just my thoughts, briefly. I'll be back later. I'm waiting for my eldest son now. He's coming and we're going over to see Alfie, my eldest son, my granddaughter. And um, my daughter has gone to see uh, Bob Dylan and Neil Young in concert in Hyde Park in London um, tomorrow. So all the family are doing things and it's my eldest son's birthday today. I won't tell you how old he is because he wouldn't want me to. <laughs> um, but uh, looking forward to seeing him and uh, going over to see Alfie and Probably will get back on later because we're going back here for some lunch and um, then I've got the day free from, I don't know, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock this afternoon. So have a great day everybody and uh, that was just a little bit of an update for you all and some thoughts off the top of my head and I'll speak to you later. Bye bye. Oh by the way, that wine I poured last night, it went down the sink, it was horrible. I'm just not really a drinker and uh, if I do have a glass of wine it's got to be well diluted with lemonade. That was diluted but um, I just didn't like it. So down the sink it went. Bit of a waste. <laughs> I'll be back later. Bye bye everybody.